Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on symmetry. So in this video we'll cover two different types of symmetry. First of all let's look at lines of symmetry. So what is a line of symmetry? Well a line of symmetry is a line drawn through a shape which cuts it directly in half uh, so that the two sides are mirror images of each other. Uh, so let's look at this triangle on the left. So uh, let's draw the first line of symmetry straight through the middle. Now we'll draw lines of symmetry with a dashed line like this. Make sure you use a ruler uh, if you're doing an exam. Um, and for each regular shape, the number of lines of symmetry will be equal to the number of sides. So in a triangle, there are three lines of symmetry, like so, because there are three sides. Similarly, for a square, there are four sides, so there are four lines of symmetry. So let's draw those on. So that is between the two sides, and then from corner to corner, going diagonally. And then finally for a rectangle, this isn't a regular shape, so there aren't four lines of symmetry now, um, but there are still two lines of symmetry going through each of the two sides, like so. So moving on to the second type of symmetry, and that is rotational symmetry. Now we describe rotational symmetry in terms of an order of rotational symmetry. So what does that mean? Well, the order of rotational symmetry is the number of times that the shape can be rotated and still look the same. So let's start with this point here. Uh, this is a regular pentagon. Um, so how many times can we rotate this pentagon and it will still look the same? Uh, well, if we rotate it so that this point maps onto this point, that's one rotation, and then we can do the same. So there's two rotations, three rotations, four rotations, and then finally there are five rotations. So for a regular polygon, the number, uh, sorry, the order of rotational symmetry will be equal to the number of sides. So that was the case in a regular polygon. Let's have a look now at an irregular polygon where the sides are not all the same length. Uh, so here we have a rectangle, and we want to know what the order of rotational symmetry is. So uh, let's rotate the shape through a full 360 degrees and see how many times the shape maps exactly onto itself. So if we go 90 degrees, uh, we can see that it doesn't map onto itself. If we go through another 90 degrees, that's 180 degrees, we can see that it, it fits exactly onto its position originally. Uh, and then if we go once more 90 degrees, uh, it doesn't map onto itself. And then finally, through full 360 degree rotation, uh, it maps onto itself twice in total. So the order of rotational symmetry is two. So finally, uh, this is an example question now. Below is a regular hexagon. Draw all the lines of symmetry on the shape. Uh, well, it's a regular hexagon, which has six sides. Uh, so therefore, there should be six lines of symmetry. So uh, let's draw them all on. First of all, let's go corner to corner. So those are the first three lines of symmetry. Uh, I'm drawing them all as dashed lines again. Uh, and then the remaining three lines of symmetry are through the middle of each side. So you should use a ruler if you're doing this in an exam. So in total, there are one, two, three, four, five, six lines of symmetry. And then part B, what is the order of rotational symmetry? Um, well, this is a regular shape. Um, it's a hexagon, so it's six sides, so therefore the order of rotational symmetry equals six. So if you found this video useful, you can have a practice with our online exam. Uh, you'll see some more symmetry questions there. There's a whole range of different question types, uh, plenty of questions to practice. You get instant feedback on each and every one of them, uh, so this will help you find areas that you need to improve. Uh, so if you'd like to find out more, if you want to take the test, then you can click the link below.